seconds away from throttling down those Merlin 1D engines, you'll, you'll start to see that visual change in that plume you see on the screen. Main engine cut off. Separation confirmed. All right, all good news here. We had successful main engine cutoff, stage separation, and second engine start one. Our next milestone is fairing deployment. Those two fairing halves on the top of the second stage are no longer needed, and we'll jettison them uh, to help expose the Turksat 5A satellite to space and attempt to recover those later on. Second stage is on a nominal trajectory. Separation confirmed. And you saw there, we just jettisoned our two fairing halves. It's our first good view of Turksat 5A. It's now exposed to space, and those two fairing halves are heading back down to sea level. For those of you just joining, we're four minutes into flight on today's mission of carrying the Turksat 5A satellite to its intended orbit on the Falcon 9. We're currently in the first of two planned MVAC burns. That's what you see on your screen currently. Uh, not pictured here currently, but that's uh, after stage separation. The first stage, we're attempting to recover it. Its velocity at separation was about 2,200 meters per second or 5,000 miles per hour. Once the separation occurs, the first stage is still moving at such a high velocity it continues to raise its altitude as it approaches its apogee, and then it will coast down a couple minutes before it starts its return back to Earth. Up next, we will hopefully see is the first stage's entry burn. This is the first major milestone for first stage recovery. 
for entry burn, we're going to relight the center of those nine Merlin engines. It's actually engine number nine. Uh, and partway through this transition, we then ignite two more engines, engine one and engine five, which means we have three total M1D engines helping slow down the vehicle as it passes into the Earth's increasingly thickening atmosphere. That burn will last about 30 seconds, and we're just about a minute away from that. And also not pictured here, those two fairing halves are they're making way their way down. It'll take a lot longer than it will for the first stage, but we'll attempt to recover those later on in the evening. Expect a loss of signal, Kate. First stage is now uh, less than 100 kilometers above sea level, continuing to make its way down. Just 10 seconds away from entry burn. As you, as you watch this here, watch that exhaust expand as it goes from one engine to three engines. It'll sort of elongate. Stage one entry burn startup. 